vegan, cruelty free, affordable. Yes, I'm granting all your makeup wishes today with an amazing collection of five brands and five products that you absolutely need to add to your collection. Whether you like to shop exclusively cruelty free or you just love a good drugstore find, let's get started. So brand number one I'm going to be talking about is e.l.f. Now I'm sure all of you have something in your collection from e.l.f. They've grown massively over the past few years in the UK and it's great to see them in so many of our drugstores like Boots and Superdrug. Now I did some shopping at e.l.f. back in the days when it was just an online brand in the UK, Eyes, Lips, Face, and I'm so glad that it's hit our drugstores. e.l.f. have also been killing it lately with their launches. I've still yet to try their latest sunscreen and their satin lipsticks, but I cannot wait to get my hands on them. Now, e.l.f. is a cruelty-free and vegan brand, which takes the complexity out of knowing what you can and you can't buy if you are shopping vegan. It was really difficult for me to find a top product from e.l.f. just because I absolutely loved so many of their products, from their bite-sized blushes to their bite-sized travel palettes. But there was one clear winner for me when I really thought about it, and that is the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. So many of you will have heard of this, because it's supposedly a dupe of Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Filter. Now I can't say I've tried that product, but I am super impressed with this one. So it's great for no makeup days, and it's great for summer too. I mean, I've even been enjoying it in winter, just because it adds that extra layer of hydration. It's got ingredients like hyaluronic acid in, which help moisturize your skin, and it gives you that nice youthful glow that helps to finish off your makeup look. Now I've got the shade two, which is Fair Light. And this is perhaps a little bit darker than my natural skin tone, so it adds a little bit of coverage, and that's what I was looking for from this product. Of course, you can go to your skin tone exactly, or even a little bit lighter, if you'd like to use it as a highlighter. The doe foot applicator on this is great, so it's really quite big, as you can see here. And this means it's really easy to apply it to your skin for a nice finish. I've already decided that when I go on my holidays later this year, I'm gonna ditch the foundation and bring the e.l.f. Halo Glow with me instead. So the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter retails for 14 pounds. If you build up some loyalty points on the e.l.f. website, you can get this for significantly cheaper. It's actually really easy to build points on the website. And I, in fact, got this for three pounds earlier on this year, just as I bought a few things here or there from e.l.f. over the last few months which enabled me to get several pounds off this bottle. So the next brand I'm talking about is Revolution Pro. Again, another super popular brand. I'm sure all of you would have purchased something from one of the Revolution brands. Now I absolutely love so many products from across all of those ranges. I think the eyeshadows from Revolution are particularly strong, especially the eyeshadows from Revolution Pro. They've got some great quad eyeshadow palettes. Of course, there's also some gorgeous blushes and bronzers too from Revolution. Especially if you like your liquid and cream blushes, there's the super dewy blushes and also the fast base sticks. Now, I think the concealers is something that Revolution absolutely succeeds in. I've tried so many concealers from the range and I can't say that there's any that I dislike. However, I do have a firm favourite at the moment and that is one from Revolution Pro. This is the Revolution Pro Ultimate Radiant Under Eye Concealer, and it gives the most gorgeous satin finish. So even though the product claims it's radiant, I'd say it's more of a satin natural finish, which I personally welcome. I find it covers up imperfections whilst also leaving my under eye hydrated, so it never creases in any fine lines, and it seems to last well throughout the whole day. Because of its nice liquid formula, it also is really easy to build and layer up if you're looking to build something more medium to high coverage. The dofa is also really small. So this means it's really easy for precise application if you'd like to use it directly. I'd say the product is best for dry skin and aging skin. So this concealer is vegan and cruelty free and it retails for eight pounds. Because it's not a new product, it's off and on offer too. So I think at the moment on ASOS, it's around five pounds. Absolute steal. So brand number three is MUA from Superdrug. Now I barely hear anything about this brand, perhaps because it's a cheaper product, maybe people are more dubious about the quality. I've got to say I felt that way too, until I received one of their products in an advent calendar a few years ago, and I was absolutely shocked with the results. 
So MUA is a cruelty-free and vegan brand. So again, you can shop the whole collection without worrying whether a product is vegan or not. And the product I'm talking about today is their eyebrow pencil. This is the MUA Brow Define Eyebrow Pencil. Now this is a new product and this is my current one. So as you can see, it's well loved. And I think this is probably my third pencil I've gone through. So new one in stock. I've always struggled to find a medium brown eyebrow pencil that is exactly the right tone. So they've always tended to come off more warm toned and I prefer a much cooler tone. Another problem I find with eyebrow pencils is they often can be quite difficult to use. So you can be pressing really hard to try and get any pigment off. This is not the case with this one. It's almost got a slight waxy texture, but it comes off so easily. It's really simple to draw an outline for your eyebrows and fill in any sparse patches. And if the pencil's sharp, it takes me 30 seconds tops to do both eyebrows and I'm ready to leave. Another thing I absolutely love about this product is the top is a sharpener. I don't know how many times I've gone away and haven't bothered bringing a sharpener with me and I haven't been able to sharpen any of my pencils and having to work with a blunt pencil is just hideous. So having this sharpener means that you don't ever have to worry about having a blunt eyebrow pencil so you can have those perfected eyebrows all the time. Before I dive into the price for this item, I also wanted to shout out another product from Hua, which I've really been loving recently, and that's their mini eyeshadow palettes. So they're five pan palettes, similar to e.l.f. in that they are small, bite-sized. However, I find the pigmentation is perhaps even better than e.l.f. Their shimmers are more metallic as opposed to glitter, so I haven't really experienced any fallout with the products either. But back to the eyebrow pencil, and this beauty is £2.50. Yes, you heard that right. £2.50. Personally, it outweighs any high-end pencil that I've tried and I can't imagine changing from this product anytime soon. My fourth cruelty free brand is Milani. Now, not all of Milani's products are vegan, but they are all cruelty free. I think Milani is an absolutely gorgeous brand. Such stunning packaging, some amazing new launches that look so high-end. I also love their colour stories and all their eyeshadow palettes and they pick the most beautiful tones for their blushes. I've been waiting so long for Milani to launch in the UK, so I'm so glad that we have such a wide range of products available now at our drugstores. Now, it was really difficult for me to pick between two products for my favourite product from Milani. It was either the Colour Fetish Lipsticks which I highly recommend you try if you haven't already, or their classic baked blush. And I've got to say their baked blush did win. Yes, I'm talking about this cult classic Luminoso. Unfortunately, you can see the writing has worn off this because it is so well used. Now I love Luminoso. It's one of those blushes that you know will just always work. So if you're in a rush, you need to get out of the house. You don't have to think about what blusher to put on, what blush is gonna go with your look. Just pop Luminoso on and you're good to go. It also adds that nice healthy radiance to your skin because of the baked blush element. Milano also have some other amazing colors if peach is not your thing. So if you're a fan of more cool tone blushes, I recommend Dolce Pink. One thing I would say about Milani blushes is because of the baked formula and the sort of shimmery effect, uh, you might not get on with it if you've got large pores, but you can get away with it if you just apply the blush to the high points of your cheeks rather than all the way along. Now this classic blush retails at £11.75 at all major drugstores. It lasts all day, the payoff is beautiful and I highly recommend you try it if you haven't already. So the last brand I'm talking about today is Drugstore in that it's affordable drugstore prices, but unfortunately you can't buy it at the drugstore at the moment. The brand is German and is widely available online. You're probably wondering who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Catrice. So Catrice first opened its doors in Germany and has built a cult following across the UK, Europe and in the US. And at the moment it's available in various places online. So I normally shop on Just My Look. Catrice has been on my radar for a while now and I've tried a few of their products. Their base products are fantastic as are some of their mascaras. However, a clear winner for me is their nail polishes. Now you can't buy the nail polishes on Just My Look, but I do know you can buy them on Motoni. 
I first came across the nail polishes in Europe when I was in Spain last year. And I was thinking I might have to take a trip out there again just to stock up on more polishes because they are that good. But I've actually found them online since. And the products I'm talking about are the more than nude Catrice nail polishes. So as you can see, I built quite the collection. It was hard to pick one, so I came home with four. The shades I've got here are To Be Continued, which is a lovely pinky mauve colour with a cool toned glimmer. And this one here, which is Nudy Beauty, which is a lovely nude colour, as the title suggests. This one here, Dancing Queen. Now what I love about this one is you could literally just have one coat and it just makes your nails look a little bit more done up. So if you can't really be bothered to do a little manicure or two coats of polish, just one coat of this and you're ready to go. And saving the best till last is Meet Me At The Bar. This is an absolutely gorgeous pinky white pearl shade. A bit like the Hailey Bieber polish that went viral last year. I always get compliments whenever I wear this, people asking where I got my nails done, only to find out that I did them myself with a super cheap nail polish. Now I like many things about these polishes, but I think my favourite, other than the shades, has to be that they last so incredibly well. I find that no matter what base coat I use and what top coat I use, nail polish doesn't really last that long on me. But with a Catrice polish, I can easily get a week's worth of wear. The polishes are also super glossy, so your nails really do catch everyone's attention and have a lovely healthy look. So these products retail for £3.50 and I shall link Notino in the product description so you can find them. So that's all we have time for today, I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like more of this type of content don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Again if you have any recommendations of vegan or cruelty free products that you'd like to share with the community please leave it in the comments. I hope you have a gorgeous rest of your week and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.